It's Lee, your independent sensei consultant. Welcome back to my channel and to this What I've Worn This Week video. So, <clears throat> I do have some non sensei waxes that I've been warming. So, these were from a selection box <clears throat> from Callan Candles. Um, I've had these since just looking at the date now, June 2020. So I've been trying to work through these because they are starting to lose their scent a bit, mainly because they're in cardboard, so there's nothing really to stop the oils evaporating. So I've warmed, or I've finished off the jasmine. Um, I've gone through some of the aqua blossom and coral um, and the black currant and rose. <clears throat> so I'm hoping to finish these off by the end of the month. Um, which I probably will. Um, well, yeah, I, I probably will manage that. And then onto the Scentsy Waxes. So I will start with the regular ones, and then I've got some of the licensed ones to come on to at the end. So First step is Mediterranean Spa from the Bring Back My Bark collection. So this is relaxed with this cool, fresh and breezy scent and this is absolutely beautiful. It really is. It's like a really clean, almost soapy type scent. Um, really is reminiscent of a spa. Um, so there's that one and this one is in my club and it's staying there for a while. Then I finished off a Citrus Rosemary so this is Soothe Your Minimalist Soul with Sweet Orange, Lemon Balm and Rosemary Fig. And I bought this back last February. It was in clearance <clears throat> and it has been really nice. I've used it in the kitchen and the utility room mainly. Uh, well, mainly the kitchen. So that's been really nice. Then I finished off Pillow Time from the Catch and Z's collection. So this is, was Blue Tansy is tucked in with Silk Blossom and Calming Passion Flower. This wasn't one of my favourites, but it did grow on me. Um, <clears throat> I do have, I think, another three, or I do have three more of the Catch and Seize collection bars left that I am slowly working my way through. So I will now concentrate on those now that one's done. Then I finished up an island hopping. So this is fresh, salty air, marine water and beech wood call upon you to set out and explore. And this one is really nice, clean, crisp, fresh scent. This was in last year's, or a new fragrance last year. It came back in the Region 2 catalogue this year. And it also came back as <coughs> excuse me, um, scent circle, and I think possibly car bar, but that is really, really nice. Then I finished off my bar of Monsters Inc. Monstropolis. So this one is again is in my club, and this is a monster dose of mandarin, watermelon, pineapple, and lush palms, a way to world like no other. And for me, this is a really to me it's quite a unique scent because it's fresh and fruity and it's I just haven't smelt anything that I could compare it to whereas with Disney Cars uh, Radiator Springs I thought that smelled a bit like cherry limeade but this one there's been nothing like it in this one's in my club then I finally finished off DC Justice League so this is bergamot and sandalwood unite with vanilla and watery greens for a heroic outcome that's bold and brave. And for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while will know wasn't overly keen on this. It was okay. I, oops, I wouldn't buy another bar of it. I'm not sure if I have another bar in my stash. I don't think I do. I think I just had the one. But yeah, then I warmed some of the um, Disney's Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl. 
So this is Enchanting Strawberry, Raspberry, Lime and Subtle Waves of Sea Mist will make you fall head over heels. And when I first smelt this I really wasn't keen on it. Um, no, I wasn't keen. But the more I warmed it, the more I liked it. And to be honest, it was, or it is in my club. Um, it was in my club for Jade. Um, but I know she's now had enough and she doesn't want any more. But I've decided to leave it in my club because this one is actually really nice. Um, I did have a bit of a sensory heartbreak with Moana Spirit Motunui. I took that out of my club and instantly regretted it. <clears throat> I've got, I think I have two bars left in my stash. Um, I think I finished off the open bar. So this is nothing like it, but again, it's quite a unique scent. So I probably will have a, another couple of bars of this before I take it out of my club. So then we have from the new All Is Wild collection, which is due to launch on Monday, the 21st of February, was Vitamin M Meditate. So this is sandalwood, balances calming lavender and spicy nutmeg. And this is a really nice one. I did really like this. I popped it in my warm room in the lounge and I just kept having this waft of really nice, it's hard to describe it really. Um, it's is it like it no it's not it's not like pillow time it reminds me of something and i'm not sure what it is i don't think it's a scentsy bar but no it it almost has like a slight soapy vibe to it maybe that's am i thinking of mediterranean spa it's got that same sort of vibe as Mediterranean Spa as in quite relaxing and quite fresh but really like this. Um, this is one of the ones that may go in my club once it's released. Um, certainly for a, a round or two. And then on to some new releases. We have Disney's Big Hero 6 Would You Like a Hug? So this is described as individually great but better together. Vibrant strawberry, wild raspberry, whipped marshmallow and sweet sugar are bound by friendship and courage. And I've not smelt anything like this. It's not unpleasant. I don't, I don't get any fruit from it. When it's warming, all I get is a bizarre bakery type scent. I toyed with ordering another bar but having warmed it, I decided that one is enough. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to rationalise my club. And this gives me the same sort of vibe as Three Thumbs Up from the Haunted Mansion. But Three Thumbs Up Haunted Mansion is ten times nicer than this. So I was like, will I get another bar? And I thought, hmm. I don't like it enough to get another bar. Whereas the likes of this, I'm like, yeah, I definitely want more. So, yeah. <clears throat> Big Hero 6, for me, not a fan. Um, I don't get fruit. Like I said, I just get bizarre random bakery. Not even, I've just dropped a bit of wax on the floor not even like fruity pastry type bakery it's just i don't know it's it's okay um the only thing i found was that i warmed it in the evening and by the middle of the next day i don't know it almost had like a burnt pastry or a burnt bakery smell. Yeah, for me, good, well, quite strong at first, but for me, it's it's going to be on, I think this is going to be on my list or in my pile of ones that I want to use up um, fairly quickly, just so that I'm not storing it for months while using it up. Uh, it, to be honest, it might actually work well as a mixer, 
I might try mixing it, but on its own, yeah, not a fan. And then on two, predominantly, and I say predominantly, the Harry Potter collection. So, where do I begin? Um, actually, I'll begin with Hufflepuff because this is the most disgusting thing I've ever smelt. On cold, it's a bizarre smell. It's really, yeah, it's really bizarre cold. And I don't know if that's the white, white hazelnut. Um, so it's described as warm cinnamon sugar, golden apple, white hazelnut and whipped vanilla almond. And it's bizarre. It really is bizarre, but warming, warming, it really is the, the most disgusting thing I've smelled. And let's put it this way, I would rather be stuck in a room with Roll of the Dice, and you know how I feel about Roll of the Dice, rotting piss. I would rather be stuck in a room with warmers full of Roll of the Dice than this bloody thing. It really is. I'm laughing because I, yeah, I mean, I love around the campfire and a lot of people dislike that, but honestly, this for me is the most disgusting thing um, ever. However, that said, I decided after it, I put it in the utility room and after about an hour, even with the door shut, walking down the stairs, I could smell this through the door um, and through the downstairs toilet window. And yeah, I was like, I have to turn it off or I have to do something. So I decided to mix it and I mixed it with Blue Grotto, which is run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus and lush botanic holes. And this has got quite a citrusy vibe to it. So, let me just put my phone on silent. Um, so I decided to try, well, to be honest, my thought was there's no way it can be any bloody worse than it is on its own. So I mixed Blue Grotto, a cube of Blue Grotto in with Hufflepuff, and it actually wasn't that bad. Um, <clears throat> I, I, can't bring myself to bin this, although if mixing it didn't work, it would have had to have gone in the bin. I'm going to attempt mixing it with oodles of orange, because I think oodles of orange, because that's quite a sweet, strong scent, might work. If it doesn't, nah, two cubes of wax lost, I'm, I'm not, I won't be cut up about it. But yeah, for me, these two, I can live with in the utility room with all the doors and windows shut with it just slightly wafting through the cat flap um, and that's mixing it one to one I may mix it two to one just to see if that helps um, because it will last longer generally if you use more wax the scent does last longer um, which is why I'm not afraid to try mixing a bit more of this with this or even one and a half cubes of this to this just to tone down the rancidity of it. So needless to say I don't want another bar um, and if anyone wants to offer me a free bar the answer will be a polite thank you but no. So then we have Slytherin. So this is described as deep blackberry, dark chocolate, fresh oak moss and crisp leather. And I don't get chocolate. I get just for you. And I don't know if that's the blackberry. And I assume possibly the oak moss is what gives it that green, almost tree-like vibe that you get from just for you. But just for you is nicer, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so this one's not going in my club. This is by far nicer than Hufflepuff. Then we have Ravenclaw. 
So this is smooth vanilla, airy white mass, incense, spiked sandalwood and mahogany woods. And this one is actually quite nice. I've had this one in the lounge. It's, it's not bad. It's not my favorite. Um, to be honest, I would buy another bar of this. Um, yeah, I, I would buy another bar. Would it go in my Sensit Club? Probably not. Just because I think there are nicer waxes out there. So that's Ravenclaw. And then the last one is Gryffindor. So this is Lemon Zest, Cinnamon Leaf, Amber and Smoky Woods. And this one, in my opening unboxing video, I said it reminded me of high school after class. It does kind of still remind me of that when it's cold and when it's warm. It's a really, really is the most bizarre scent that I just can't really describe it. Apart from the fact it reminds me of high school after class and like the smell of ink and paint and just general art paraphernalia. Um, this one I definitely want more of. I'm not sure it's club worthy. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm really not sure it's club worthy, but I definitely want at least another two bars of it. If they get released, <clears throat> because these were on pre-sale or pre-order, so I don't know what the deal is going to be with uh, general release, whether they will be released individually as the the um, suitcase set bundle um, or if they will be exclusive to Scentic Club, whether you will be able to add them to Scentic Club. However, if they aren't available for Scentic Club and they are only available in this, then unfortunately because of this one, I would not buy the rest of them. Um, no. No, no, no. If they were available individually, I would quite possibly pick up a six pack and get three bars of each of these. Um, just because I do quite like Ravenclaw, not enough for Scentic Club, and Gryffindor, I do really like this one bizarrely. Just because it is so different. But. No, I, I might add it to my club um, because sometimes the advantage of Sensei Club is that you can finish a bar and think, okay, do you know what, now I've finished it, I don't really want the rest, so then you can just take it out of Sensei Club. Um, whereas if you buy six bars or a couple of bars and you get to the end and you're like, do you know what, like me with Roll of the Dice, I still have two bars in the cupboard because I did, do I have two bars? No, I think I have another bar. Um, no, actually I think I do have another two bars. So I think I did a six bar bundle, that and Roll of the, uh, Roll of the Dice and one of the others. So, yes. So for me, I would say favourite, so number one, number two, number three, and negative 152,000. So yes, I hope that was useful. And obviously, as always, these views are my own. Um, some people I know like Hufflepuff. And I know that Melissa likes Roll of the Dice. So, you know, there, there are, we all have completely different opinions. And, you know, I get bakery from this. My nose may just be completely rogue or broken. But, yeah, not, not fruity in my opinion. 
So, thank you for joining me this evening. I hope that provided some light entertainment for you. And until next time, take care, stay safe and happy warmings. See you soon. Thank you.